Thank you very much, Dmitry. And let us move to the city of Krasnodar, capital of Kuban region. And today we have a presentation from Kuban State University. I invite Mr. Sergei Dinsov to tell us more about the region and the university, of course. Uh, thank you, Mikhail. Good afternoon, dear friends. Uh, so my name is Sergei Dinsov, and I'm working at the uh, International Department of Kuban State University. And I want to tell you a little bit about uh, our university uh, sort of our presentation. Okay, great. So next slide, please. Uh, so Kuban State University was founded in the year 1000, uh, 1920, and the university was rich 100 uh, year history, well-established traditions and university recognized achievements. Uh, the high status of our university confirmed uh, by numerous awards. It's known uh, reputation as leading center of education, science, and culture of one region, and have allowed the university to become famous and recognized not only in Russian, but also abroad. Uh, to next slide, please. Uh, so today at Kupsu, we have over uh, 30,000 uh, students from 72 different countries, and we have joint educational programs and international corporations uh, from uh, universities from more than uh, 80 international partners from 60, oh, sorry, 30, uh, 36 countries. Uh, so today at our university working um, 474 full professors and more than 1000 uh, philosophy doctors. We have 20 scientific schools and seven scientific magazines. Also our alumni working in uh, 125 different countries of the world. So, uh, because we are a classical university, uh, we have bachelor and master programs in many different fields of study. We have 70, uh, 15 faculties and two institutes, like uh, Faculty of Architecture and Design, Arts and Graphics, Biology, Chemistry and High Technologies, Computer Technologies and Applied Mathematics, Economics, History and, and Sociology, International Relations, Journalism, Law, Management uh, and Psychology, Mathematics, Physics, Romance and Germanic Philology, uh, pedagogic psychology and communi uh, communicational science, Russian philology, of course, geography, geology, tourism and service, and secondary professional education, Institute of Secondary Professional Education. Uh, so, uh, next slide, please. Yes, and I will tell you a little bit about uh, some of our programs. At first, it, uh, it's a master's degree program. We start in English. It is uh, major academics and management and field of study academics. Uh, so it is uh, joint double degree programs, so which realized uh, together with our partners from uh, Portugal and uh, Czech Republic. So one year you study here at our university and the second year you can study uh, in one of our partners. And at the end you get two national diplomas. The second one, it is bachelor program at educational science, it has many majors. Uh, like Russian as a foreign language, or Russian and Russian literature, mathematics and IPC history, uh, primary and physical education, technological education. So this program uh, can allow you to work at schools or maybe if you want, you can continue education at master level and uh, postgraduate level uh, and continue working at universities. Next slide, please. Uh, Gear Informatics. It is bachelor program. I unfortunately thought only in Russian. Uh, so this uh, program allows you to work in, uh, in companies like Google and working with Google Maps or something like that. It's uh, got a very rich uh, practical base for students and uh, it's very interesting because it is uh, like um, to combine your knowledge in geography and informatics and to get uh, some kind of maps and et cetera, et cetera. Next, please. Uh, so chemical studies, of course, bachelor level and master levels, if you was at analytic chemistry, uh, inorganic chemistry and chemistry of uh, financial components. So um, we have uh, a lot of laboratories here at university and you can uh, continue education at master or PhD level. Next, please. International relations, uh, so field of study international relations and major international security. Uh, this program allows you to study two different languages. One will be English, and the second one can be German or French, and uh, it's continuous during all education. At the end, if you want, you can uh, uh, work in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in your country, or maybe working in uh, many different international companies. Next, please. 
uh -huh, mathematical studies. So we have two mathematical faculties, faculty of computer technology and applied mathematics and faculty of mathematics and computer science. And um, it is uh, here you can be uh, to continue your, um, to work in like a teacher if you want, of course, or you can uh, study mathematics, apply mathematics and continue at master level. Next, please. So documents you need for admission. Of course, uh, it's uh, not a translation of your passport in Russian language. Documents of about your previous education. Uh, of course, not a translation of these documents. We need uh, pictures and uh, recognition certificate in case uh, if between our countries there's no um, treatment about recognition. But uh, if you're not sure about this, of course, you can contact with us and we will help you with this. Uh, and uh, you need to be sure that your documents must be legal, legalized, of course, if, if it's necessary. So about these questions, you can contact uh, our department and we can give you all necessary information. Next, please. Key dates. Uh, so um, uh, it is different dates for depending from the level which you want to study. At first, uh, bachelor programs. So this year, we started from June 19 and uh, continue till the August 6th. Uh, during this period, you need to apply your documents to our university. You can do it online, or if you are here in Presnander, of course, you need to go to our university and apply your documents. For master level, from June 19 till August the 5th. And for postgraduate programs who want to study a PhD level, so from June 21 to July 30. About entries, it is uh, depending from the level too. So, um, it's starting from August 7 and August 6 from master and for PhD it's from August the 1st till the August 15th. And uh, one, uh, one necessary point, uh, if you want to study the programs like architecture, design or costume and textile fabrics, journalism and uh, pedagogical education with major visual art and computer graphics. So the application date will be from June 19 till July 12th. And the entries will be from July 13 to July 22, because for this uh, uh, for this field of study, you need to pass uh, some kind of special exams. Uh, next slide, yes, recommendation. So at our university, we have four comfortable dormitories located uh, here at campus territory. Like uh, you need about five or six minutes to go from dormitory to uh, to our main campus, and it is. Uh, very comfortable and get all the uh, necessary um, treat, um, equipment. Also, it has gym and near the university, we have uh, our swimming pool and very comfortable stadium. Next slide, please. So uh, at one state university, we have... Uh, okay. uh, so uh, yes, we organized many cultural sport events for our students. Uh, and since uh, 1952, uh, university students have become champions of USSR, Russian, Europe, World, and uh, Student Olympic Games. Uh, also, our football team uh, is three times champion of uh, European uh, Students Football Teams Championship. Next slide, please. Crescent region. So we are located here in the south of Russia, near the Black Sea. We have very great warm weather. Uh, unfortunately, this week it's not so not so warm, but uh, also uh, usually it's uh, about uh, ten or fifteen degrees of Celsius plus, of course, uh, during all winter. And the snow this year it's just something extraordinary. Uh, next slide, please. So contact information, uh, here you can see my phone number, uh, you can uh, use WhatsApp, Viber, or any other messages, and uh, uh, our email, so we're ready to answer all, uh, all questions which you have, of course, and uh, uh, thank you for your attention, and welcome to Kuban State University, so I hope you I can see you for like uh, our students in the next year, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Sergey, for the presentation. Uh, I had a question about the climate, but you answered already, which is great. I mean, the climate is so warm and so friendly uh, towards international students, so you definitely uh, be able to attract a, a lot of them. 
So uh, we have some questions from from potential students. So uh, first that we have is, uh, will I be able to work as a teacher in in the in a Russian school, or have an internship? I think, uh, or uh, your program, which is called Educational Sciences, uh, trains teachers only for other countries. Uh, it's depending from the majors, of course. Uh, most popular programs for international students, it is program like Russian as a foreign language. And in this mm -hmm. case, many students can can, uh, can work in their national schools like teacher of Russian language. Mm -hmm. But if we speak about local schools, will you, uh, will you be able to organize some in internships for international students or it, it doesn't work like this? Uh, so, uh, if they want, of course, if they want to stay in Russia, uh, they can continue and they can work at uh, local schools. And of course, during the period of education, they have practice uh, more than uh, a few months and they work in uh, local schools to get practice to working with children. And by the way, we have the, this kind of question also, uh, which is, uh, what is the share of uh, international students that stay in Russia? Uh, not like going uh, to their home countries. Do you have this kind of stats? Uh, so I suppose about 20% uh, of students stay here in Krasnodar. Right. Uh, of course, uh, the main point is students from uh, nearest countries like Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan. But uh, also we have students from different African countries who stay here working mm -hmm. in Krasnodar and they don't want to go uh, to, to their countries. So they like here, uh, like our city and of course like our climate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Also, uh, the question is uh, uh, what occupation uh, can get graduates of geoinformatics major? Oh, so sorry, not to understand really. Right? I mean, what kind of what kind of occupations uh, can get uh, graduates of the geoinformatics uh, major program? So it is a uh, human field of study. Here yeah, it's yeah. Uh, ah, okay. It's close to it is like mix of uh, geography and informatics, and they have uh, like um, uh, skills in uh, programming. And of course, in a uh, reading of uh, electronic cards and creating electronic cards, maps. Mm -hmm. Sorry, maps. Mm -hmm. All right. Another question we have for, for your university is uh, is about uh, language uh, training. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you offer Russian language as a foreign language only during the foundation program, or you also have some extra classes for? Uh, from international, for international students during their, their degree uh, period of studies? So, of course, uh, the first it is preparatory year. It's three different programs. And also we have classes of Russian language during the all, uh, during all period of study. Because uh, all we understand is that uh, one year it's not enough to get Russian language at very high level. So we help our students to study here. And of course, they have classes during first year, second, and till the end of the education. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, also, uh, can you tell us ab about recognition? Uh, do you have any... So, is it easy to, re to get your uh, diploma recognized in other countries, or there are some issues that uh, can in influence on recognition? Or there are no issues and it's easy? Uh, so, as I told before, so we have almost 125 different countries. So uh, I know that our diplomas working in many, our uh, graduates yes, working in many different countries. Of course, depending from countries and their, uh, and their law, but uh, so I haven't any information about the difficulties with our diplomas. So we have, student, uh, we have graduates in the United States, in Canada, in many different European countries, and everything is okay. Okay, okay. Okay, and the final question that we have for you uh, today is, uh, do what, uh, I mean, how does the, uh, how does it look to get a 
practical internship uh, during international security program. What kind of pre practical uh, training do you offer for such uh, students of international security? So, okay, um, at these programs, our students at, at practical part, yes, they're working at uh, uh, Krasnodar uh, Department of uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russian Federation. Uh, well, a few of them get practical at our department, so they're working with uh, questions of recognitions, questions of legalizations, and also they're working at uh, like a law department of uh, Krasnodar region, so some kind of these questions, like international questions. Mm. Okay, uh, actually this this question I have already asked, it's about how many yes, of about... graduates are mm -hmm. living. And uh, since uh, we have an, an, another one uh, about the living conditions, if, uh, I mean, are, do are dormitories uh, located far away from uh, academic buildings or they are close? So it's tell us about this location close. thing. <laughs> Sorry? Yes, it's about five minutes from the dormitory to the main campus. Ah, so you, you have kind of single dormitory for all students and it is... Uh, just nearby the academic campus, right? Yes, it okay. is a territory of academic campus. Yeah. All right. Okay, then uh, I would like to just to ask you to address to the potential students and the and potential also partners for recruitment uh, with some words so that they would be encouraged to uh, join the university. Mm -hmm. So, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, dear students, we are, will be very happy to see you next year. So, I believe uh, the situation with the national borders will be a little bit easy this summer. We hope that and we can see you and you can study at our university. We believe that it will be a very good experience for you. Um, and uh, we can see you here, not only online, where way. <laughs> thank you.